Hi guys, it's Graham again, and welcome back to my channel. So today is the 1st of April, and uh, I'm currently reading uh, Alice's Adventures in Wonderland through, and Through the Looking Glass. Um, and I'm reading this for Hannah Tay's uh, favourite books, um, Readathon. I'm already a few pages in, and I'm loving it, as I always do when I read this book. Um, the sun has just gone away. It's been a lovely day today so far. Um, still on lockdown. <laughs> surprise, surprise. Um, and you can probably hear that there are lots of cars going past. I don't think people are taking the lockdown very seriously. But anyway, um, so yeah, I'll just, I'll keep filling you in when I read uh, a few more pages, a few more chapters, and I'll just, I'll, I'll, I'll keep going with it. So yeah. All in the golden afternoon, full leisurely we glide, for both our oars with little skill by little arms are plied. While little hands make vain pretense our wanderings to guide, ah, cruel three, in such an hour beneath such dreamy weather, to beg a tale of breath too weak, to stir the tiniest feather, Yet what can one poor voice avail against three tongues together? Imperious Prima flashes forth her edict to begin it. In gentler tones, Secunda hopes there will be nonsense in it. While Tertia interrupts the tale not more than once a minute. Anon to sudden silence one, in fancy they pursue. The dream child moving through a land of wonders wild and new. In friendly chat with bird or beast, and half believe it true. And ever as the story drained the wells of fancy dry, and faintly strove that weary one to put the subject by. The rest next time, it is next time, the happy voices cry. Thus grew the tale of Wonderland, thus slowly, one by one, its quaint events were hammered out, and now the tale is done. And home we steer a merry crew beneath the setting sun. Alice, a childish story take, and with a gentle hand, lay it where childhood's dreams are twined in memory's mystic band. Like pilgrim's withered wreath of flowers, plucked in a far-off land. Fury said to a mouse that he met in the house, Let us both go to law, I will prosecute you. Come, I'll take no denial, we must have a trial, For really this morning I've nothing to do, said the mouse to the cur. Such a trial, dear sir, with no jury or judge, Would be wasting our breath. I'll be the judge, I'll be the jury said cunning old fury, I'll try the whole cause and condemn you to death.
so I didn't read very much more of Alice's Adventures in Wonderland yesterday um, because I just couldn't get motivated. So I've already driven Hubby to his work today. Um, he's still a key worker. Uh, so I've come back to bed because I didn't sleep very well last night. Um, and I'm going to I'm going to get stuck into Alice today. Um, so, yeah. Uh, there we go. <laughs> You are old, Father William, the young man said, and your hair has become very white. And yet you incessantly stand on your head. Do you think, at your age, it is right? In my youth, Father William replied to his son, I feared it might injure the brain. But now that I'm perfectly sure I have none, why, I do it again and again. You are old, said the youth, as I mentioned before and have grown most uncommonly fat. Yet you turned a back somersault in at the door. Pray, what is the reason of that? In my youth, said the sage, as he shook his grey locks, I kept all my limbs very supple. By the use of this ointment, one shilling the box, allow me to sell you a couple. You are old, said the youth, and your jaws are too weak for anything tougher than suet. Yet you finished the goose with the bones and the beak. Pray, how did you manage to do it? In my youth, said his father, I took to the law and argued each case with my wife. And the muscular strength which it gave to my jaw has lasted the rest of my life. You are old, said the youth. One would hardly suppose that your eye was as steady as ever. Yet you balanced an eel on the end of your nose. What made you so awfully clever? I have answered three questions and that is enough, said his father. Don't give yourself airs. Do you think I can listen all day to such stuff? Be off or I'll kick you downstairs. In that direction, the cat said, waving its paw round, lives a hatter. And in that direction waving the other paw, lives a March Hare. Visit either you like. They're both mad. But I don't want to go among mad people, Alice remarked. Oh, you can't help that, said the cat. We're all mad here. I'm mad. You're mad. How do you know I'm mad, said Alice. You must be, said the cat, or you wouldn't have come here. No, no, said the Queen. Sentence first, verdict afterwards. Stuff and nonsense, said Alice loudly. The idea of having the sentence first. Hold your tongue, said the Queen, turning purple. I won't, said Alice. Off with her head, the Queen shouted at the top of her voice. Nobody moved. Who cares for you, said Alice. She had grown to her full size by this time. You're nothing but a pack of cards. At this, the whole pack rose up into the air and came flying down upon her. She gave a little scream, half of fright and half of anger, and tried to beat them off, and found herself lying on the bank with her head in the lap of her sister, who was gently brushing away some dead leaves that had fluttered down from the trees onto her face. Wake up, Alice, dear said her sister. Why, what a long sleep you've had. Oh, I've had such a curious dream, said Alice, and she told her sister, as well as she could remember them, all these strange adventures of hers that you have just been reading about. And when she had finished, her sister kissed her and said, It was a curious dream, dear, certainly, but now run into your tea. It's getting late. So Alice got up, and ran off, thinking while she ran, as well she might, what a wonderful dream it had been.
Well, I've just finished uh, Alice's Adventures in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll, uh, the first book of my uh, TBR for Hannah Tay's uh, favourite books, Readathon. It's just after midnight on the 3rd of April. Um, I love this again, uh, so deliciously nonsensical. It's just absolute nonsense and I love every word of it. Um, so on to the next one, Through the Looking Glass. I will start it tomorrow and I'll make another vlog. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this one and I'll see you soon. Well, that's the end of part one of my uh, favourite books, Readathon. Um, I really enjoyed rereading Alice's Adventures in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll. Uh, it is one of my favourite books of all time. Um, and the next one is uh, Through the Looking Glass, also by Lewis Carroll. Uh, my second favourite book of all time. <laughs> so um, thank you so much for watching, guys. Whatever you're doing, I hope you have so much fun doing it. Whatever you're reading, I hope you love it. Stay fabulous, be amazing, be yourself, stay safe, stay indoors, wash your hands, and I'll see you again soon for another video. Bye-bye.